Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you the five business steps in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you one circle with five business process. And again, on next click, it will show you the first, the plan with a semicircle. And you can add your text here and the icons I have added there. The next, it will show you the second step or the second process which is develop then the third one mobilize the fourth is implement and fifth is evaluate so this is the teardrop uh, infographic design so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to gradient fill go to insert shapes under basic shapes select teardrop just draw a teardrop by holding the shift key you can see here you got this shape and you have to make sure that the height and width remain same and then you can see the small orange point here just drag it something like this and then using the arrow just rotate it this side and shape fill you can give some nice colors and shape outline make it no outline press ctrl d to duplicate it and go to format shape right mouse click format shape and here give a gradient fill i'm going to use a gradient fill First of all, I'm going to use it uh, maybe a gray color and the type I'm going to select a radial from here and direction maybe I'll select this direction later on we can change it. Then I'm clicking here. I'm adding one more which is white here again gray. There's one more I'm going to put it white. Again, I'm going to make it gray. So I have to do the combinations of gray and white. Let me just delete it and again a light gray. And then you can just rotate it. I think this is okay or you can rotate it this way also once this is done just hold the shift key and reduce the size a little bit and put it here something like this and then i'm going to select this one again press ctrl d and i'm going to make solid fill color which is i'm selecting white and reduce the color a little bit so the size And then I'm going to insert one oval shape on this. Again, hold the shift key while making the oval shape. And if you want, you can give some, I'll just give a white color, shape outline, no outline and shadow. I'm going to make it inner this one and you can increase the transparency. And you can increase the blur size also. So this our teardrop design is ready now almost. I will select this and press Ctrl G to group it. I need to reduce the size. I'll just again hold the shift key, reduce the size and put it here one. I will reduce the size of the properties also and you can just bend it something like this one here and then on the left side i'm going to draw an oval shape maybe this much size and again shape fill i'll fill it with white 
shape outline make it no outline and again i'm going to give the same inner shadow increase the blur and increase the transparency rate and then i'm going to draw one more circle go to insert shapes and select this one which is block arc just draw the block arc by holding the shift key and then you can reduce its width something like this and shape fill make it no fill and shape outline i'm going to select the same color of this blue and reduce it so it will look something like this and you can start reducing it so let me just reduce the size a little bit and then i'm going to insert one more line here or you can select the line here which is going directly something like this and shape outline i'll give the same color and a little bit i will increase its width to match the width of the teardrop let me just increase the and make sure that this is going till here you can see here and then i will select all this press ctrl g to group it and you can see here and then i'll make it somewhat near to this zoom in and just drag this orange pointer that's it you can see here this design is already so what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate i can ungroup this and I will move this a little bit here and then I'm going to change the color of from blue let me just yeah color blue not this color yeah this blue to maybe a green and this also i'm going to select the same green color you can see here and then you can add press ctrl d you can reduce the size a little bit and select both this align center and align middle i will reduce the size further and again we have to align it properly yeah so likewise you have to do it one by one and this one also i will group it again and increase the size of the line which is going and maybe this much size and here i'm not going to take this uh, i will just reduce this one here and i'm going to take this one and match it this You have to just make sure that this is properly aligned otherwise it won't look good and this color also i can change it to green and again you have to just make sure that every time when we are checking this should be properly aligned 
so likewise you can start creating the other objects again this is second this is third let me just ungroup it i will remove the line for the time being and here i'm just going to select this and again color from green to maybe a pink and i'm going to add one more circle i will reduce the size for the meantime i'll just keep this aside it will not disturb me so i'll just make it pink what happened yes so the pink color it should the line should be matching here so i can just select any line here Control C and Control V. Put the line here and one more here and change it to pink. And I'm just going to reduce the size till here only. And likewise, you can just do the remaining three and four and five. So let me add one more. I'll just select this, press Ctrl D. You can bend a little bit or rotate a little bit. And again, this color from orange or pink to I can give a purple color here. Again, press Ctrl D to duplicate. And this line, I will make it something here and make it purple and I'm going to select one more circle here and press ctrl D to duplicate it reduce the size and put it here zoom a little bit and move this one here so this line should be matching with this and this also I'll make it purple color and increase a little bit here. So once this is done, you can add as many as you want and let me just reduce the size a little bit and put it in the center. And once this is done, you can add the icons and the text to add the icons go to insert icons and in some powerpoint versions these icons are not available you need to have a latest version of powerpoint so i'm just going to insert five different uh, or four different icons here And I'm going to reduce the size from 1 to 0.5 and start putting one by one onto the circles. And then you can insert the text. I'll just say text item, title 01, make it bold, I'm going to use the font called Century Gothic and I'm going to use this color which is a blue gray, reduce the size a little bit and I'm going to insert one rectangle below of this and I'll give no outline and shape fill the same color of this and below you can add the detailed text
century gothic reduce the size and select this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and start putting one by one here so this will be my title 2 title 3 and title 4 and simple you can do the animation you can add the animation here I have added all the animation which is the wipe effect only you can see here all I have used wipe effect only so you can just use the same wipe effect animation for this and if you need you can add some icon or text here That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.